incidents on campus involving race. Mm -hmm. They didn't think that they acted quick enough to address them or more or robustly enough. Why are they still unhappy? Instead of that idiot. Mr. Wolf running around blubbering on and on to the break of dawn about how change <laughs> takes listening and learning and caring and conversation. What he needed to do was open up Webster's dictionary and learn that change takes actions. So his stupid pontificating was dumb. He should have put some r r r uh, things in place to ensure that students of all races felt comfortable and stamp out the racist actions happening by racist students. And Instead, what he's doing is running around doing victim blaming. This is so lowbrow and expected. And anybody who's watching right now who wants to hit me up on Twitter, it's at Lisa R. Durden. Because that's what you do every time I come on the show. I'm ready for you. Don't respond to the Twitter hate. Oh, that's, my bad. That's, just, that's like breathing in the bus exhaust. <laughs> Kevin, Kevin, uh, did these guys get what they deserved? No, I think it's ridiculous that they would even consider resigning. Look, Megan, we had... Donald Sterling, who had a private conversation exposed, and he lost his team. We had Paula Dean, who 40 years ago maybe used the N-word at some point. And today, we have people who did nothing, who lost their jobs. If this is something that America wants to face, the idea that you could be the CEO of a company, somebody at your company could, could say something off color, pardon the pun, to somebody black, and they're going to throw a conniption, then who wants to, who wants to lead? And the second part of it is when we look at black unemployment, just being blunt, who wants to hire people that every time th there's any racial insensitivity of any sort, it doesn't even have to be real, they, they're going to be losing their jobs. This is undoubtedly the most ridiculous thing that's happening in colleges, and it's essentially chickens coming home to roost in liberalism because these, these so-called racial incidents are things that most people would blow off Maybe you'd write about it on Twitter, and that would be the end of it. There was one thing, like, there was a swastika on campus. They didn't feel that enough was done to. excrement. So you're going to tell me that the, ongoing well, first, first, racial first slurs, of all, swastika. ongoing oh, wait, wait, let Lisa feces, go, then I'll go back here. Ongoing racial slurs, sure. ongoing feces, having um, uh, 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 swastikas, swastikas in excrement. <laughs> He was forced to quit his job because they hit them in the pockets. A few million dollars in fines. Take that, you idiot. Kevin? He's a, he's a political tool, a tool of political correctness, and that's the only reason why he left. The fact of the matter is, uh, the swastika, just for your, your guests' information, is directed at Jews, not blacks. <laughs> So the oh, idea oh, that so that's you, something. Oh, so it, it, you are, I'll, I'll okay let you talk. I let you talk. Just let him finish his point. I let I let you talk. Okay. The point is, it was not it was not directed at the black students. So if you want to if you want to talk about it from the standpoint of Jews, I'm happy to have that discussion. But look, you are if you think that these kids are not going to face these issues when they get into real life, it's of ridiculous. Course. There are people that are going there are people that are going to say things about you. And if this is the level that is, it, if this is all that it takes to get a rise out of people to where they want to pick it and people lose their jobs mm -hmm. understand this is not isolated for what's just happening at this university luckily this is i'm that's not the black person black people long term. go ahead quickly lisa Let's, luckily i'm not a black person who only cares about black people i care about all people yeah, you are so, <laughs> so your parents did not make you feel worthy while raising you they told me I was beautiful. And they they told me I was you. smart. They told me I them? was important. But Did yes, believe I believe them. them but so why do you need Black when, Lives Matter? Because to the way that you are that. treated and what you are told are two different things. My mom told me I was beautiful now and I was smart. But when I go into society, they don't see that beauty. They don't see that who intellect. Don't see it? Society. Just who, because who I'm. Who are black. you referring to in society? I'm referring to the structure. Are you the talking way about the whole white system people or black up. people and white people and others? Who are you talking about? Are you talking about white people? I'm not talking I'm not about a person. Any particular no. I'm not talking person. about a person. I'm but somebody has to be the system that you're referring to. It's a to. thinking. See, we have to who understand are you referring that it's to? not a people. But who are you referring to? It's a thinking. And who is thinking? I'm referring to the government. Who is thinking this way? Huh? The people who wrote our laws. Who is that? Are you talking about white people, black people, Mexican, or them all? White people. This You talk about white Mr. people? Mr. Peterson, if I Hold may, on a minute. Hold on. I'll come to you. You talk about white people? That I must keep this race oppressed so that I can stay superior. Although, I mean, our history do show. Who are you referring to now?
I'm, I'm telling you that it's a thinking that's and in society. And who's doing this thinking it, in society? It's been, it's been the Caucasian race for So the white ages. race is, is holding you back? I, no one's holding me back because the I The white race are discriminating against you? Because of my yes. race, yes. It, it's so, so and they have set up a system to where they don't have to discriminate, but us, they have a system that does it. The reason why we have this issue with everything black people do is called a protest and outrage is because we are passionate people. Let, no, you're very angry people. Oh, would you are include you yourself angry? in that? No, I'm not angry. I actually I was, wanted to ask was, you, what is your nationality? Hold on, I was angry like you people at one point. I'm not but, angry. But I was able to I'm overcome angry. it, and I realized that I had been lied to. You, you guys, most black people are so angry, you're at a point now that no race like you. The Spanish don't like you, the blacks don't like you. How do you feel knowing that most races do not like black people now because they're fed up with your bullying? They're fed up with your complaining, complaining and blaming and doing all that. You're turning off most people. How do you feel about that, Andre? When I see black and brown doing a, a, a march on Washington, that, that's race relations well, those, right there. That's those right. radical, angry, that's, angry. That's right. Uh, when I see Asian people standing outside the White House marching with Black Lives Matter, yes, <laughs> yes. When I see people of other cultures going, you know what? See, this is what we have to do as a people. We have to wake up. What do you we want? We got to stop listening to this that you rhetoric want? that's in the media. Michelle, what do you what do you people want? What do I want? Michelle, when you say you people, what do you mean? The complaining black people, uh, blaming others for the failure of their parents and their lives. What the uh, Blaming that others be? for whatever it is you're complaining about. What is it exactly do you want from white people? Every life matters, and that is why this issue is so important. Black lives matter, white lives matter, all lives matter. Later that same day came Governor Malley's, O'Malley's apology. I believe what I first said was that black lives matter before those other two phrases. That was a mistake on my part, and I meant no disrespect, and I did not mean uh, uh, to be insensitive. Hi, Megan. <sighs> really? <laughs> really? I, I get the context in which the original remark was offered, but it's to the point now, Kevin, where he has to apologize for saying all lives matter. Yeah, it is. It's to that point now. It's crazy. And what's interesting, Megan, if you notice, when he said white lives matter, Oh, that's when he got the most vitriol from the audience because you white people are evil. They booed. Yeah, the same <laughs> party that, that uh, booed God or didn't want God at their convention booed white people too. So, hey, maybe white people are God. Look, this is the most idiotic thing I think I've seen in a long time. The fact of the matter is that the meme and the narratives are set around Black Lives Matter should be called Black Lives Matter because they don't want to talk about the real issues around why, why black lives haven't mattered. It isn't because of cops. It isn't because of America. It's because of the behavior of liberal blacks and the system that has is, that is made, made black people, unfortunately, put in situations where they are we, we, uh, disproportionately criminals. And so this idea that you can't come over the top of that and say, don't all lives matter? What, 87% of this country's lives don't matter because black lives do? And it's, I mean, Mark, the thing is, way to get the other half to listen to you, right? I mean, what, how are white people going to respond to the booing <laughs> of the fact that their lives should matter? We oh. should have been the Michael Brown case. <laughs> But, in Ferguson, which helped give birth to the Black Lives <laughs> Matter Megan, movement, the matter and is, it was based on a lie. Way, way more no, white people have been killed at the hands of police officers over the past two, two years than blacks have. That is exactly right. Well, if you look at exactly, proportions, that's no, not that's exactly true. right. That's a, white people are killed in disproportionately uh, more high numbers in, per, in percentage to crime than blacks. 
and you don't see white people uh, running around talking about white lives matter. And, and to your original point, the very first thing out of your mouth was, oh, I don't believe people believe that. They booed when they said all white lives matter. Right. And the reason they booed is, it. the reason what, that what, was are you so going to ignore down. that? Five Dallas police officers brutally killed Thursday were ironically there protecting the rights of police protesters. But even as the horror was unfolding, many Black Lives Matter supporters took to Twitter to celebrate the murder of five brave officers. Here's one user tweeting this. Don't feel bad for those pigs. And another writing, oh, it's unfortunate it wasn't more. And the problem is nobody addressed it. Nobody said we're going to stand for law and order and make sure the people understand we're going to protect the people that have to protect the citizens of America. So I'm not surprised, honestly. Lisa, were you surprised at the response? I'm actually not surprised at the response because, as you know, in this country, we are built on retaliation. America retaliates against their enemies. America ta retaliates against people who are terrorists. And when somebody terrorizes America or harms America in any way from other countries, what do we do? We bomb them. We murder them. And a lot of times, <laughs> innocent victims get killed in the crossfire. And that's just a part of the job. Now, when you have an issue like this, not that I agree with it. Not that I think that Micah Johnson was somebody that should have been doing something like that. It's horrific either way. But maybe because he grew up in a country who was that was built on this kind of retaliation, he might have felt, I don't know, he might have felt that this was very <laughs> apropos. The police officers ran through the black community and murdered black people like they were pigs in the streets. They shot people in the back, several individuals over the last week. And he might have felt like, well, in this country, when our enemy harms us, we retaliate. So are you going to let me talk? Kevin, your turn. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, first of all, the, the idea that Lisa says we're in a country that is har harming black people as a, as a black president sits and is a top law enforcement officer in the country is ridiculous. Uh, Loretta Lynch and before her, uh, I can't remember his name, but the point is black people are in charge of this country. The people in the cities where all these blacks are supposedly being killed are black folks. They're, they're the people that they vote for. They're Democrats. The, the, what, what Lisa's explaining is, is the, the absolute nonsense that circulates in the black community that you can't get ahead in this country and that there's somebody against them. The fact of the matter is, in America, there is nobody targeting black people. I've gone through the statistics. There were 200 uh, to date of the 561 people who've been killed by police. 136 of them are black. So who are the other people, Lisa? So this, I, what, what's happening here, uh, Clayton, is blacks are being taught to be racist. They're being taught to be ignorant of the actual facts of what this country brings. Black and what's people so sad cannot about be it, racist what, because we don't have the power to be racist. Black that, people that's did the most not ignorant hate statement people? I've ever heard. Black if they really care about the black community, why wouldn't they be addressing the black on black crime in cities like Chicago, where there are there right. are murders every two hours in the city of Chicago? First Kevin? of all, uh, 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 I've said it a million times on Fox before. Oh, no, it's okay. It's okay, right, Lisa? Most white people kill me with that low brow statement. I'm not. I'm, I'm not going to. I'm not going to talk over her. The, the fact of the matter you. is everything that, Lisa's, everything that Lisa says is absolute abject nonsense. Police officers are not, uni they're not ho homogeneous in color. They're heterogeneous. They're black. They're Hispanic. True. They're whites. They're everybody. They're being targeted by people that they're trying to protect. But why are they angry about reparations, Ms. Box? Why would whites be a, have a problem with reparations going to black people when they paid them to the Japanese Americans who were put in internment camps during the war with Japan? They paid it to the Indian brothers and sisters who they gave casinos on their <laughs> reservations. They even helped the Jewish people get it from Nazi Germany and what happened to them in the Holocaust. So if you helped everybody else, you got a problem with helping those you kept enslaved for over 300 and something years in this nation, black people? Okay, so take it down a notch. But race hustlers like in the Black Lives Matter movement, like Jesse, like Al, like ex Barack Obama, the ultimate race hustler, they don't want things to change. They like the angst. They like things being ginned up. In the past seven and a half years, race relations have dramatically gotten worse in this country because of this leadership. And the bottom line is Black Lives Matter, DeRay McKeeson with his stay woke, stay woke, looking like he's Jesus Christ being crucified. Give me a break. They are getting rich off Ms. the backs of leftists Ms. and Box. off the backs Ms. of the Box. black community. Ms. Okay, listen to me very carefully. After the Civil War, President Jackson was the one that basically 
poo pooed everything. And he was a damn slave owner. And he, and he was a Democrat. And Jackson Excuse was a me. slave owner. So you didn't, I didn't talk over you, don't talk over me. What the Democrat Party has done is re enslave the black community. All those things that Black Lives Matter are about, except reparations, which is absolute ridiculousness, it's not going to happen.